What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Miguel. You're watching Miguel EDC, the channel where we talk everything EDC gear here. Today I have an awesome, awesome unboxing for you guys. These are some amazing knives in here. I cannot wait to share with you all. Got this package over the weekend. I was out of town, but it is a Monday now as of the time I'm recording this video and I just can't wait to get into the box. These are my very own knives. I got a chance to test these out as a borrowed version from, from my friend Lefty EDC and I went ahead and order one for myself and i also order a whole new model which you're going to be seeing here in the channel so stay tuned fasten your seat belt grab your coffee get some popcorn ready we're going to have some fun on this one i got this one delivered here it seems like it was raining a bit uh this weekend and got wet on this side so hopefully there's no damages on the inside doing the honors today of course we are working with the kung Wu chat right here awesome awesome hum run of a knife right here super well ex executed amazing premium materials on this one we have the diamond titanium handles and the pm60 stone wash sheep's foot one cliff modified blade right there which is, this thing is savage this one is finally my own as well i borrowed one of these from work knife balance as part of lefty's knife pass around i ended up loving it so much that i had to get me my my own in the history with one of the knives in here is a very similar one first and foremost guys there will be affiliate links for this knife and every other knife that you see in this video down in the description so if you want to check out any of these knives feel free to check those links down below it does help the channel if you end up purchasing a knife through those links but that's entirely up to you at absolutely no extra cost with that in mind let's just go ahead and get to the thing right let's see man here we go all right now we're talking and then <laughs> we got two knives on this one. Let me just close out the chat here. Boom, here is one. And is that, okay, I feel like that's a little bit of grease right there. Maybe it wasn't water, maybe it's grease, who knows? Uh, okay, see we got, uh, ooh, maybe this guy spilled a bit. Mm, yeah, that might be it. This guy, yeah, this little um, oil right here, lubricant for the crossbar lock, maybe spilled a bit on that one. And boom, here we go. We have the other one right there. Okay, so let's do a quick assessment. First things I want to do is, let me just go ahead and I want to wipe this thing here real good. I don't want any of that oil. All right, so <laughs> let's see. What are we working with right here? Okay, so first things first, guys, we have the Kung Wu Django, right? This one here, you have already seen in the channel. I did an unboxing on this one. I borrowed this one from Lefty EDC. I am going to be doing a short, like an ASMR short with this one here very, very soon. So subscribe to the channel if you aren't already so you can see the unboxing on this one in short format. But again, there is a long form unboxing video on the Django already. So check that out in the channel. What we are going to be taking a look at here is the Pulsar XL. Yes, yes, yes. We are going to be taking a look at this bat board right here the pulsar xl and if uh, you have an idea what this knife is you know exactly what we're working with and if you don't know what this knife is i promise you <laughs> you're gonna want to check this one out this thing is an absolute hum run right here so i'm excited to get into it so let's just do the thing right here we go let's uh let me make a cut right here with a chat i want to destroy the box too much this thing is super sharp we got the sticker right here on the outside All right, here we go. This time they put the one of the stickers on the outside, which is interesting. All right, typically I find these on the inside. We got two stickers, boom. They put both stickers on the outside. How about that? We got the dragon going on here. And I want to say, is this a kangaroo or a donkey? I got to <laughs> clarify which one of those two that one would be. Let me know in the comments if you know exactly what that one is right there. All right, it's a little trivia for you. And without further ado, here we go. Kumu nice, right? They do quality boxes right here with the magnetic. All right got the magnetic opening right here and if you guys are ready i'm ready here we go boom check this out now i got a nice fabric a uh, little pouch right here very very comfy on the inside very cushion right got uh, the beads and everything from both ends to be able to close that shot right there beautiful design here in the front we of course got the kung wu nice certificate of authenticity all right by the way if you're not already following kung wu at kung wu underscore nice underscore official on instagram you're missing out so definitely make sure to check them out on instagram check them on the ig if you would we got the silica gel right here we have the additional omega springs and what seems to be a filler tab on this one additional hardware is always appreciated and they're doing a really good job here perfect 
and we have the Kumu wiping cloth right very nice as you would expect it branded Kumu wiping cloth right there and last but not least we have the knife right here so let me make some room right run the cam camera to focus real good on this one and here we go all right we got all the attention on this knife the pulsar xl here we go all right if you guys are ready i'm ready boom let's get this thing out here it is guys this one okay first impressions this thing looks a little a little on the bigger side right don't insert a joke there guys here we go boom here it is holy smokes holy moly right first impression okay this thing is uh, a chunk bigger than my chad for sure check this thing out quite the the size to this one and here it is right additional filler tab i think what comes yeah i think what comes in here will be the filler tab for the other side right, in case you wanted to go lefty check out the diamond pattern on this thing i feel like kumu just does a killer job with their diamond pattern titanium that's just one thing that i fell in love with immediately after handling their first knife the chat and the django and i was like hey, listen this is just beautiful work of art right here been in love with it ever since got a crown spine going on here uh backspacer which is wonderful also works as the lanyard solution right there right deep pocket carry clip a little bit on the shorter side that's interesting got the kumu k right there nice um is this timascus right or circuit tie i don't know i'm not an expert I haven't really handled as fancy of knives as these are honestly so you guys correct me in the comments if i'm wrong but that looks like timascus pivot color right there looks wonderful on both sides check that out definitely adds a little bit of high-end overall aesthetics you know beautifies the knife really really well so if you guys are ready i'm ready let's get this thing open here shall we i'm going to use the cloth hanger opening right here on the blade a lot of people refer to those triangle openings like that as a cloth hanger shape and if you guys are ready here we go boom <laughs> holy smokes holy smokes this thing this is a chunk of knife right here holy mama jam <laughs> okay i was not expecting it to be this big but hey uh <laughs> this video is just gonna be a bunch of you know uh unnecessary jokes inserted in every single line i guess but man oh man check out the action on this thing of course we got the crossbar lock right here kumu does a great job with their crossbar locks oh quite 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 some weight to that blade without a doubt yeah when they said xl they really meant xl <laughs> no kidding drop shot action all right pretty good it's breaking in right now but check that out all right reverse flick that feels good definitely requires a bit of you know a little bit of strength right there just to get it to flick open thumb deployment oh that's good that feels really good on the thumb deployment right there all right check out my average hands not the biggest not the smallest right the standard grip back here hammer grip still a bit of handle left no issues but you probably notice that nice finger choil towards the front so if i forward choke on this bad boy boom look at this chunk of handle still left right there awesome awesome blade this thing is a flat grind satin finish flat grind which honestly i feel like kungu does a really good job with their satin finish let me give it a nice little wipe right here i am going to be using this knife so i don't need that protective oil film on there get it nice and clean for you guys to check it out yourselves holy smokes this thing <laughs> uh you know typically folks will get the pulsar right kumu pulsar by default and then maybe graduate from the pulsar to the xl but i just took a, a shortcut and went for the xl <laughs> right off the bat and man oh man this thing is huge right check out that satin finish right there looks very very nice we have l max steel going on on this one just like on the django it does say pulsar right there on the blade on this side and then nothing else on the show side you have no uh, billboarding of any kind i like that their pivots are just gorgeous looking i love the way their pivots look on their knives and holy smokes uh, nice uh, rounded um spine to the blade right there good jimping functional jimping going on here which is very appreciated all right man good stuff right this thing feels right at, at home right here in my hand and i can see if you had bear paws <laughs> like xl xxxl hands this is a knife for you right here holy smokes okay this <laughs> this thing is making a very great first impression i'll tell you that check out that blade alignment right there it is a dead in the center how does that pocket clip feel on the hand honestly it feels pretty good it does have a bit of a drop 
in a little bit of a, a race right here. Maybe it is a tad bit pokey, but because the handle is so big, you don't really feel it as much, especially on this forward grip right here, right? I don't even feel the pocket clip at all. Uh, again, with my average size hand. So uh, your mileage might vary there. I do know they have a titanium mill pocket clip. I may go for that option in the future here. Do sort of like an upgrade. It would look something similar to the clip. Somewhat more or less to the clip on the chat right there. Holy smokes. Let's do some size comparisons here, shall we? Let's do first the Kung Wu family. So far, this is my Kung Wu collection here. We have the, of course, Chad right here. Kung Wu Chad, Pulsar XL, and the Django. Check that out, of course, the X Pulsar XL is just a behemoth next to the other two. There's zero doubts about that. And honestly, they all look amazing. I mean, this just speaks to the quality of work that Kumu does. You know, this knife is going right in my pocket the second this video is over. Absolutely no doubt about that. Let's check it against the standards right here in the channel, right? Here's your PM2 and the pair of three so let's say this thing is a substantial maybe inch inch and a half longer than the pm2 no doubt right definitely looks like the titanic next to those two you guys take a look there for yourself what about the Demco 80 20.5? Check that out. This one's on 20 CV with another version of a diamond pattern titanium here. Check that out, right? Love me a nice continuous pattern on a knife. And if it's in titanium, that is the way to go right there. So check that out. Here is the Shark Cup, the smaller brother. And as you can see, I mean, it's hard to keep a straight face. I think this might be by far the biggest knife in my collection, period, at this point the Pulsar XL, and it just looks humongous right there next to the other knives, right? Uh, if anything, the Rat Model 1, I have faith, might come close to it, but uh, it somehow manages to make the Rat Model 1 uh, seem small, right? And of course, no doubt the Rat Model 2 is gonna be a lot smaller also. Holy smokes, I'm just gonna keep, repeat, just gonna keep saying that throughout the whole video. Uh, this is one big knife. There's uh, absolutely no doubt about that. Last but not least, the CJRB Pyrite and the Raccoon. All right, so check that out right there. Take a look, boom. Yeah, it is uh, a significantly larger piece, uh, without a doubt. Honestly, where's my tape measure? Let's just go ahead and measure this bad boy here. At this point, you're dealing with almost, right? Borderline almost nine inches. I wanna say it's probably like 8.9. 8.85 almost nine inches so yeah <laughs> quite a quite a tank of a knife right there indeed and of course it's finished in the premium materials i want to say the titanium diamond pattern right here again is amazing and beautiful right it is nice and chamfered all around so there's no hot spots anywhere that is just very very well thought out very well executed right it's nice and rounded here towards the back so i feel like it's going to be okay in the hand uh, deploying it and opening if you know me i like to fidget with my knives after all you know these of course are tools but they are very premium tools and if the action is as good as it is on this one then of course i'm gonna you know fidget with them here and there after all that's <laughs> about 80 percent of my day with knives right there in a nutshell but yes this one is of course going to be seeing some use as a matter of fact let's go ahead and do a quick scientific paper cutting test and cardboard cutting test as well i got some everyday notebook paper right here with my chicken scratch from another review on here so yeah just gonna go ahead and see how this guy <laughs> oh, this guy slices the paper oh these books yeah this uh this thing is going to go through the paper like like a laser beam really and i mean you got quite a tall blade right here so it's nice and tall the flat grind goes pretty high up onto this line right there so yeah let's just get some full slices on this thing bam whoa <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, as you would expect, a brand new knife out of the box, of course, but, uh, you know, some knives come brand new out of the box, not even anywhere close as sharp as this, as this thing does. So, very nice. Oh, that blade is just money right there. Oof. Okay, so we know, obviously, it's going to do paper, right? That is not a secret, but I have some uh, diaper card box right here. The interesting part about this one is there's a section here, a single wall, and there's a section back here that's dual wall. So, of course, when cutting cardboard, keep in mind, don't cut perpendicular, but rather at an angle like this, and it would look something like that. <laughs> okay, last single wall cut right here. Boom. Effortless. Now, it's going to be a little bit more challenging on the dual wall, 
But <laughs> this blade is so slicey, right? With that flat grind. Holy smoke. Cardboard destroyer right here. Yeah, I think so. Holy smokes. Yeah. Uh, guys, did I mention this thing is sharp? Because, uh, yeah, it's uh, definitely sharp and definitely a really capable tool, right? No doubt about that. You guys rate it in the comments. Let me know on a scale from 1 through 10, right? How sharp is this guy in your opinion? But yeah, clearly it can do paper, cardboard. I'm sure it can do everything else, rope, uh, straps, anything else you throw at it, of course, you know, that is meant for a knife to do. This thing is going to perform really, really well. I almost forgot to mention one of the main reasons why I got this knife in the first place when I put my order on this knife back in like mid-January 2024, the Kumu Padre was not available, right? And so this is the closest thing you can get to the Padre. As a matter of fact, I believe this one might be a tad bit bigger than the Padre, but it gives you pretty much what the Padre gives you. It gives you a uh, blade with a nice belly to it, right? Also gives you a very tall blade. You got the size, right? It's a much bigger, longer knife than the other models. And so I went for it, right? But the good news, the Padre is available right now. You can check it out on the website. Again, links down below if you want to check out the Padre. It is available for a limited time. It is on pre-order status. So definitely make sure to check that one out as well. And this one for that matter, because I feel like both the Padre and the Pulsar XL are just banging. Like if you like the larger factor kind of knife, these are as good as it gets. <laughs> Already making a really, really great first impression. So I can't wait to carry this thing, honestly. And come back with the review video for you all to share with you everything all the takeaways but man oh man it's i'm loving it but there you have it guys you know how it goes on the channel by now i'm going to carry this knife for quite some time come back to you try to gather as much feedback as i possibly can come back to you with a comprehensive review video on this knife just like i do every other knife in this video keep in mind that this knife and every other knife that you saw in the video again it's linked down below if you want to check them out you're interested on learning more those links will be in the description it does help the channel if you do end up purchasing a knife through those links but that is entirely up to you and at absolutely no extra cost guys let me know what you want to know about this knife right what questions do you have what um, concerns do you have what do you want to know about this knife let me know in the comments let's hang out down there by the way there's quite some reflectivity right to that blade right there check that out i'm wearing a red shirt today under armor <laughs> everything just shows a nice polished almost mirror finish right not quite quite exactly but so much for reflectivity to this thing as usual guys if you like this type of content smashing that like button really lets the youtube algorithm know that this content should be pushed out to a larger audience and i would truly appreciate that go ahead and subscribe if you aren't already i promise you'll be worth coming back for more i make knife content like this on a daily basis so i promise you you will not want to miss out if you want to support the channel a step further there's a link down below for patreon or you can simply support the channel right here on youtube by becoming a channel member you'll have access to exclusive perks with that in mind guys thank you so much for sticking with me to the very end you guys are the real mvps i appreciate all your love and support checking out this video here through the very end i appreciate that i appreciate every single one of you hope you guys have a fantastic rest of your day and i'll be seeing you guys on the next one peace